This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine. Your stem cells, your health, your life. And we're back again. So one of my favorite places, of course, because we know so many talented artists, Frank. Um, you and I know most of them, don't we? <laughs> so um, the Strecker Nelson Gallery in Manhattan, which is right there on the main drag, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous gallery. And Jay and Barbara are the most wonderful people. They are so encouraging and so positive and so talented themselves. And they showcase some incredible work there. So I was in the gallery a few weeks ago and went out to lunch with Jay and Barbara. And I think it was just right there in front of the door, the ceramic work of Carol Long. You will be blown away. You, this woman is absolutely amazing. Her work is incredible. And as I was mentioning her to several of my friends, I said, oh yeah, I have one of her pieces and, and they're just awesome. But um, check out the Strecker Nelson. Uh, tell Jay and Barbara that we sent you over. They're so supportive of the community. Um, like I said, so encouraging. So many of our friends have had exhibits over there. Barbara Waterman Peters, Larry Peters, Kelly Crawlman, of course. Um, just so many of our friends have exhibited over there and, and have their wares, I think, for sale most any time. Zach Barnes, I mean, just so many of people that we've featured or that you know from around town. Beautiful gallery. Always nice to go to downtown Manhattan. So much cool stuff to do there. Let's take a look. Carol Long was raised on a farm in Stafford County. Since the farm had been homesteaded in the 1880s, enormous trees had formed a thick shelter belt. In these wooded areas, Carol explored and connected with nature. She developed a total appreciation of plant and animal life. Her mother's interest in art led them to visit museums. Always looking for outlets for her active imagination, she remembers as a child using one of her father's cattle syringes filled with mud to draw in the driveway. In high school, Carol's interest in ceramics was sparked by her teacher, Sheldon Ganstrom. When she moved on to Barton County Community College, she was always drawn to the ceramics lab. Among her mentors was the late Glenda Taylor. Carol draws influence from plant and animal life and is fascinated by the small complexities of the micro aspects of nature. Her work continues to evolve as she experiments with new ways of expressing the tiny, beautiful, intrinsic qualities of nature that we often take for granted. Carol's work has been featured at the Strecker Nelson Gallery in Manhattan and can be found at Bella Luz in Wichita and the Courtyard Gallery in Lindsborg. She also has a booth each year at the Outdoor Living Show in Wichita. Carol has taken on two apprentices, Mark Freeman and Bambi Freeman. Carol is thrilled with the new energy in her studio and is looking forward to new venues and future expansion. Uh -huh. 